I'll tell you one thing. My parents might be from Pakistan, but I'm from Scotland. I think I'm pretty much more Scottish than the Scottish people. I'll tell you why. I've been in Scotland now for the last 20 years, about from the age of four to five. We moved to this town called Perth. We were the first Asians that moved there. I was like, what is going to happen here? Because instead of, like, locals getting freaked out, it was just totally the opposite. No hassles, no nothing. Treated like royalty. I mean, my dad got turned into justice of the peace and brought up in a heavy-duty Scottish community. My dad thought, right, son's doing fine. I'll put him in private school. First place where I ever, ever experienced racist abuse. The same white faces that was, like, loving me. Next minute, were, like, taunting me and going, ah, you black this, black that. Let's get the black boy. And I was like, what's going on? For three years, I had to put up with that hatred until I couldn't handle it anymore. So my dad takes me out, puts me back into Perth High School, was getting into trouble, taking drugs, drinks, violence. The end result was I was kicked out for, like, smoking doobies, man. So the next thing then, my dad thinks, right, what I'm going to do now? Take him to Edinburgh. Boy, when we got to Edinburgh, it was like, culture shock. What's going on here, you know? All these Asians brought up in an environment where I've never seen Asians or like the odd one or two. Through all them, I met my first love of my life, who was Asian as well, a girl called Tyra. Funny thing was how I actually met Tyra. It was all over a bet with a couple of these Asian guys. Okay, a bet's a bet, you know what I mean? That's like more money for lager and stuff. Asked her out, took her out on a date, won the money. She found out about the bet. She dropped me. I was like, I never experienced rejection before in my life. And I was like, Jesus, what's going on? I don't know, maybe I was falling in love or something. I've got to get her back. Take me back. I begged her, got on my knees, and asked her to take me back. And she did. So that was pretty cool. So, so I went out with her for about a year and a half. I changed everything for her. I stopped my drinking, my drugs, every bad habit I had. I just basically turned religious. I went heavy duty, Islamic fundamentalist started up a rap band to even get that message across. Basically, I was ready to marry her. The problem was her father. He had a problem with my caste. He was like a different tribe from me. This is pretty freaked out, what's going on here? Not because I was not religious enough, because, I mean, I thought I was. He forbid it. I lost the plot once again. Decided to top myself. So, I mean, what basically happened is it didn't work out. From that day, I thought, I said, I'm not having anything to do with religion, culture. I've had enough of the works. I'm just going to do my own thing. I don't care who now I hang out with. As long as a person's on my level, that's enough for me. Our religion's brilliant, don't get me wrong, but we're getting fed culture. I don't want anything to do with our culture. My roots may be from Pakistan, but it doesn't make me Pakistani. It was okay for a holiday and stuff, but I couldn't actually live there. But at the end of the day, this is my home. Scotland, it's where I want to be. Makes me Scottish. <laughs>